What we learned over the last 60 years of data from, uh, from various sources, the US Geological Survey, the British Geological S Survey on prices and the use of resources is that the concerns that have been expressed time and time again about peak this or peak that or running out of things just don't come to pass. And the reason is simply that we have markets, they're not perfect, they're not even, even very efficient. They do send a signal to miners to start to explore more uh, and to industry to use less uh, and to scientists to come up with clever ideas, clever ways of substituting one more scarce, more high priced mineral for another. And so that process has been going on and on for hundreds of years and there's no reason to think that that won't continue to go on in the future. Now that's not to say that there won't be potential um, short-term shortages where demand outstrips supply and where the industry can't respond fast enough. And nor is it to suggest that in you know, several hundred years we can just keep on growing infinitely uh, without needing to worry about mineral shortages. But it is to suggest that over the next few decades, while there may be some bumps in the road, might, while there might be some shortages of specific minerals, obviously you know, cobalt's the one everyone's discussing now, lithium was uh, under, you know, rare earths were, were you know, un under great uh, discussion a few years ago until we realized that they're not really actually all that rare, they're not even earths, but uh, you know, so lithium now, cobalt soon, but the you know, industry, the mining industry and the markets have a habit of sorting these things out, which is not to say, as I say, there won't be price spikes and crashes again.